Hello. I hope everyone is good and I hope everyone is excited to see this video uh, which was actually suggested by one of my subscribers. On my British Stereotypes True or False video, uh, James Dawkins uh, asked me or suggested me I guess that I make a video about French stereotypes or stereotypes about France and whether I think they are accurate or not. And I decided to go with it because I thought that was a very good idea and thank you James for the suggestion. I have to say that as a French citizen uh, living in the UK for about almost four years now, uh, these stereotypes, even though I try to not take them too seriously, they kind of still get to me because it's, I mean, they are stereotypes that I hear almost every day and yeah, it gets a bit annoying over time, I guess. <laughs> okay, so one of the stereotypes that I hear the most, probably, is that French people are so, so rude. I'm mainly going to talk about politeness in France and compare it to English culture because that's one of the cultures that I know best. So I think one of the main differences uh, between France and English culture is that French people tend to be much more direct. In fact, I have a, quite a good example of that in my mind because I remember it was a couple of years ago, maybe, um, a friend came over to my place and I just told her, um, oh, sit down. And she replied to me, uh, oh, okay, you don't have to be so blunt. <laughs> and I had to explain to her that in France it's perfectly okay to just say, oh, yeah, yeah, sit down. Of course, it's informal, you know, you would use that with friends, but it's perfectly acceptable. It's not seen as like an actual uh, request or order. But I think in other cultures, uh, people would usually use a different way of saying it, such as, uh, please uh, take a seat or feel free to sit down or, you know, anything like that, really. Uh, but in France, we don't often bother with it, really. Having said that, I do remember having quite rude encounters with, like, waiters. I remember going to a cafe uh, in Paris, it was the centre of Paris, with two friends. Uh, they all ordered a uh, coffee, and at the time I didn't drink coffee and I didn't really feel like drinking anything, I literally just wanted some water. So I asked for a glass of water, which would be um, tap water. And I didn't see that, but my friends told me when the waiter left and took our orders that like he had looked at me in a weird way. I was like, okay, whatever. And then when he came back, uh, my friends both got uh, their glasses of water and cups of coffee. And for me, he brought nothing. <laughs> I was so embarrassed because the guy could have like told me, um, you know, you need to order something if you're gonna uh, sit here or whatever. And I would have given him like either a tip if he had brought me a glass of water or I would have maybe ordered nothing, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the fact that he didn't say anything and just decided to ignore my order was, in my opinion, extremely rude. But, uh, you know, that happens to everyone, even the locals. Another difference that I've noticed in terms of politeness between France and England is that I think English people tend to be friendly uh, from the early interactions with people in general. But in France we tend to be more formal and it's not like to try to be rude, it's just kind of the way we are in general, like we don't really trust, I guess, uh, strangers at first. So the way of showing that we don't trust them in a way is to kind of be formal. But in England people are more happy to be uh, more friendly and stuff. But um, actually in France it's funny because people think that English people are hypocritical because they're friendly but then they're not actually your friends. And I guess it's just kind of misunderstanding on both ends, I guess. Another uh, very common stereotype is that French people either don't shower or they stink or they wear a lot of perfume to hide their body odor, I guess. <laughs> uh, and I don't think it's true. In France, actually, it's the norm to like shower every day. And if you don't, you really stand out and it's not like standard practice, I want to say. Um, in terms of perfume, I think it depends. I don't. I didn't really notice like French people wearing more perfume than any other country. Really, I think it just really depends on the people. Personally, I don't wear perfume. I do wear deodorant, and I don't think I stink. <laughs> I mean, I never, never someone told me, "Oh, you stink today." So um, I don't know where that comes from, really. Apparently, some of you think that French women don't shave their armpits or don't shave at all. And let me tell you that this is not true and again it's the norm to shave rather than not shaving. And in fact I don't even remember seeing a French woman uh, unshaved I don't think. But I have seen uh, British people, British women rather, uh, having armpit hair. So I don't know. <laughs> no I mean obviously I'm not saying that British people don't shave, that's what I'm saying. but it's, I don't know, I've seen it more in England really than in France so it says a lot about how often French women shave. 
Did you ever believe that French people say ooh la la all the time? Well, if you do, then you're wrong. Actually, ooh la la is almost never used in French. But if you, if you hear a French person using it, that would be only in a negative context uh, to express maybe shock or negative surprise like ooh la la, like ooh that's bad, that's, that's quite awkward or like it's, it's very sad or something like that, like something quite tragic. It would never be like ooh la la, like that never happens ever. <laughs> and if you do that in public, people will either not get it or they will think you're weird or maybe, I don't know, they will just think you're weird again. <laughs> Now, do French people drink wine all the time? Well, I think this question is true. Sorry guys, I meant to say stereotype, not question, but too late to change it. Also, have you seen my face? I look weird. <clears throat> anyway, let's carry on. Um, obviously, we produce a lot of wine and, you know, I don't have to explain that to you. You guys know that already. So we have a lot of varieties of wine. And since we produce it, we might as well drink it, right? Personally, I don't really drink wine that often, maybe due to the fact that I'm in England and wine here is so expensive, like, so expensive. Um, but I know, you know, my parents, my, my, you know, friends and stuff, they will drink wine uh, quite regularly. And by the way, kids can't drink wine, I mean, it's illegal, I mean, they might, but it's illegal, so it's not a normal thing, just clarifying this. And weirdly enough, um, France is not the only country that drinks a lot of wine. I mean, I know I go to Portugal often and people like wine a lot there. There's a lot of variety of wines. And I'm sure it's the case in other countries, but I think it's because France produces a lot of wine and it's famous for its wines. So maybe that's why everyone thinks we just drink that, which is kind of true, but it's also the case in other countries. Now, a question that I get asked a lot, and by a lot, I mean a lot, <laughs> is whether I eat snails frog legs and cheese all the time. Let me break it down to you. Let's start with the snails. So snails is usually something that you would eat, I think once a year, twice a year maybe for like special occasions, maybe for like Christmas or New Year's Eve. Um, so yeah, we do eat that, I guess, every now and then, but I don't think it's something we eat every day or so regularly. Uh, about frog legs, uh, I never had frog legs ever in my life. I know you're shocked, right? Um, but yeah, I never had them. Uh, I don't think it's the norm. Uh, you don't really find them in every restaurant. I mean, I don't really remember seeing it on a restaurant menu ever. Uh, of course, maybe if you go to like five-star hotels or touristy places, they'll be like, oh, they're tourists, so they're gonna want to try frog legs or whatever. But I don't think it's the norm, in my opinion. As for cheese, uh, I mean, if you went to like cheese shops in France, you would understand why we eat cheese uh, a lot because there's such a big variety of cheeses that it's really hard to resist, really. So yeah, I think we eat cheese regularly. A couple of times I've heard people saying that French people complain all the time. And I think it's quite hard to uh, answer that question because you need kind of to compare to another culture. But um, I guess we do complain, but to be fair, a lot of things don't work well in France, like for example, public transport, uh, always has issues, like, you know, there's always delays and stuff like that, which can be quite annoying. And possibly complaining is a way for us to blow off some steam. Um, so maybe we hope that, you know, if we talk about problems and complain, then the frustration will kind of go away, which, you know, I guess some cultures will deal with it differently. I know in Japan, for example, they have the concept of shogunai, which kind of means that, you know, it can't be helped. But in France, we're more like, yes, it can be helped, and we're gonna complain about it. <laughs> Another common stereotype is that French people wear berets, scarves, um, garlic around the neck, stripes all the time, etc, uh, etc. Et I'm not so much gonna talk about the garlic around the neck, because this one is just stupid, and if you believe it, then... Sorry, I just insulted you. <laughs> But um, about the scarves, I think it's kind of true. I mean, I like having scarves. I don't have loads of them, but I do like wearing them. And they're definitely common because, you know, when it's windy, they're great. I mean, they're very pretty. <laughs> um, about the berets, they're not really a thing unless you want to be a hipster or maybe you're like in your 60s, 70s, 80s. Uh, so maybe they used to be like fashionable, I guess. As for stripes, I don't think they're like particularly trendy. I think they're just fine. Like it's just just another like style of clothing you can wear like they're kind of neutral in that sense like people won't exactly be chasing stripes that much so I would say not really a stereotype in my opinion 
What about baguettes? Do we just walk around holding baguettes all the time? Well, it's true only if you come from the bakery and then you bought a baguette and then you're just going home to bring it back. But otherwise, obviously we're not going to work with baguettes. We don't shower with baguettes. We don't do many things with baguettes. But then again, can you blame us? I mean, baguettes are so good. And the last stereotype I'm going to cover in this video is do French people smoke a lot of cigarettes? I think this stereotype is due to um, the fact that in the well 60s, 70s, you could see a lot of like French actresses like Catherine Deneuve uh, smoking cigarettes. And that might be when this stereotype uh, started. Now, in reality, I do think French people smoke a lot. I mean, there's a lot of cigarette butts on the floor, especially in Paris. Um, and you know, there's generally a lot of people in the street smoking, definitely more than in England and apparently even more uh, than in Japan because in Japan you don't really smoke in the street anyway. But smoking is definitely a trend in France and even though the government is trying to kind of slow down this trend, people are still smoking quite a lot of cigarettes. Alrighty, well that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe, give me a few thumbs up or even message me because I love uh, receiving messages from you guys. And if you want to suggest another video, like this one was suggested, then do feel free to um, send me video requests and, you know, I'll try to do them if, uh, if I can. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll see you later. Bye!